In this video, we're going to take another look at water. Uh, but this time, we're going to look at the water molecule, and we're going to find out, we're going to answer the question, why does water have the specific shape that it does? We've already learned that the water molecule is one part oxygen and two part hydrogen, and that the hydrogens have an overall positive charge because of oxygen being so electronegative, and it has an overall negative charge, and this allows for this cohesive nature of water to stick together. Um, but water has a very uh, specific and special shape, and so we want to look at why does water have the shape that it does, and to do that we have to review a little bit uh, chemistry and do a couple of Lewis dot drawings. So let's do a Lewis dot of the water molecule. So we're going to start with oxygen. I'm just going to draw a red O for oxygen, and I'm going to do the Lewis dot structure of oxygen. And I have two electrons in this first orbital around oxygen. And then in the second orbital around oxygen, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six electrons in that orbital. And I drew them in a very specific way uh, for a specific reason. Now, we know that covalent bonds are a sharing of electrons, so now I'm going to add in my hydrogen atoms. So there's my hydrogens, and we know hydrogen just has one electron, and it's going to be shared with the oxygen. So in that first orbital, I've just got one electron for the hydrogen, and they're happy because we only want two in the first orbital, and oxygen wants to have eight in its second orbital, so the hydrogens are happy, let's draw a little happy face on them, and the oxygen is happy because it's got eight electrons in its second orbital. Um, but there's a couple things we need to notice here. One thing is that we've got some extra pairs of electrons hanging out. So even though oxygen has, is covalently bonding right here and right here with these two hydrogens, it does have these two extra pairs of electrons, and those extra pairs of electrons are going to be the major contributor to the reason water has the shape that it does. So if you look over here in the corner, I have this water molecule, make it a little bigger, and water, it has a bent structure to it, and so we kind of look and we see that it's it forms kind of at an angle. And the reason that it forms at an angle is because these extra pairs of electrons are hanging out on the opposite side of water. And so what they're actually doing is they're actually exerting a, a force and pushing the hydrogens away. And so we get this nice bent structure of oxygen. So let's look at a different diagram. Here's another way uh, to show the water molecule. And again, it's got uh, a positive side because of the hydrogens and a negative side, but the reason that it can be polar, the reason that it can have one side that is pretty much positive and one side that's pretty much negative is because we have these extra electron pairs hanging out on the other side of oxygen, opposite of the hydrogens, and they're pushing the hydrogens to the other end of the molecule, and they're actually doing it, we've calculated, at about a 105 degree angle. So the reason this matters is this uh, pushing of those hydrogens to the opposite side is what contributes to the polarity of the water molecule. It's the reason why you have a positive side and a negative side. And let's explore very quickly what would the water molecule be like if hypothetically those electrons weren't there. So what I've done here is I've drawn a water molecule that is not polar. And here's why. If we look, we see there's a hydrogen on either side of the oxygen, and those hydrogens are going to have an overall positive, and the overall negative charge is going to be in the middle. And this is not a polar molecule, because we have on one side a positive charge, and on the other side a positive charge. And because this molecule is not really polar, it's not going to have those vital properties that water has. So having those two extra pairs of electrons on the oxygen is important because they push these hydrogens to the opposite end, and that creates a polar molecule where we have a positive side and a negative side. 
A good example of what we call a nonpolar molecule, which is what water would be if it didn't have those extra pairs of electrons, is carbon dioxide. So carbon dioxide is one part um, carbon and it's two parts oxygen. And so what it would actually look like if we drew its structure forming out is the carbon molecules in the center and then it's double bonded to oxygens on either side. And oxygen we said is very electronegative and so it wants to pull electrons towards itself. But still the fact that we have the same thing on both sides of the molecule means it's nonpolar. Remember polar means that it has different ends or opposite ends. So because carbon dioxide has the same electronegative molecule on either side, it is nonpolar. So when we look at water, we need to remember that it is those extra pairs of electrons that they usually don't get shown because they're just kind of understood that are pushing the hydrogens to the opposite end and that creates this overall positive side, overall negative side, which we call polarity. And that is, again, the shape of water is one more thing that makes it this amazing compound that is necessary for all life.